Hello and welcome to this new DIY engineers video. In this video I'll be going over NumPy, a library for numerical operations and how OpenCV uses it. So let's get into it. OpenCV uses array structures that follow the form of NumPy arrays. In this video I'll walk you through the basics. So I have a 3D array that will contain the blue, green and red data and will have a height and width equal to the resolution of your image. So here we have the depth in blue, green and red. If I have zero and zeros for blue and green but 255 for red, we'll have a red cell. We had 255 for blue, but 0 and 0 for green and red, we'll have a blue cell. And similar if we have 255 for green and the others in zeros, we'll have a green cell. What if we have 255 for green and red? We'll get yellow. Now let's look at the flower image we worked in the last video. If I look at the specific location and x equals 384 and y equals 312, we can inspect that further and see the values of red, green, and blue at 97, 63, and 201. So now let's continue looking at the matrix. So now for our example image, let's look at the values. We said for blue, 201, green 63, red 97, and that gives us the purple. So that's what we'll see in Python for this image at this location. So let's go ahead and test it. If you haven't, make sure to check my previous videos on how to set up OpenCV and NumPy in your Raspberry Pi, as well as my other video on how to open images and videos, whether from a file or from your Raspberry Pi camera module. So to start, we'll be at the virtual environment we'll be working on for this video series and the specific folder. Since we're using an example with the flower picture, it makes sense to start with the v1r1 Python code that we used previously. So I'll go ahead and save that as v2r1. And so that's the base code that we will start with. From here, we'll add a few things. Let's just start by printing the image shape. So this will be image.shape. Save that and let's do python v2r1.py run it all right here's our image and we can see that is 427 pixels high by 640 pixels wide and it has a final dimension of three remember when we talk the array that's the height width and then this is the depth and that depth is three because we need three values to define the color makes sense and you can see here when i go around this is the end of it. It goes from 0 to 639, that's 640 values, and then it goes from 0 to 426, second, there it is, which is the 427 values. And as you can see, as I move my mouse, it defines the red, green, and blue, which is the three values that are needed to specify, and that's the depth of that array. So let's press any key and the image to close, and let's continue editing the code. Now to make that output clear as we continue adding stuff, let's just print array shape with a comma. Then let's go ahead and add another line. We'll call this one print open quotations number of dimensions in array. Put a comma and then we'll be image or img dot and dim. Now all this dot something else is basically the numpy structure of getting information from our arrays where in this case our array is the image which again contains the image information as an array with numerical values as we talked previously about how the array structure works so let's save that and run that again sorry made a mistake let's end dim all right run it and you can see number and dimensions is three which makes sense right this, this is one direction the, the vertical the horizontal and the depth so now let's get the color values. So we'll do print color values, comma, and then of course it comes from the image and then we'll specify the location. Now we talked that it was 312, 384, and then since I want all three values, I'll do colon here and then close print, save. And there you can see we get a 200, 62, and a 96, which is almost exactly what we had before. It might be just a difference by one, maybe specific to paint that I was using to get the color that might start from one instead of zero like OpenCV does. But it's pretty much the same. Now let's go ahead and instead of printing this, let's print it so it says blue, green, and red. So instead of this, we'll say color values, close it, and we'll do print, open parentheses, blue and we'll specify the first value which is zero again in this case the index zero in python is the first one so the first value will be blue then go ahead and let's copy and paste this now this the structure is bgr which is blue green red and that's the order so green red and then this becomes one and two now save that now run that somehow this didn't have a bracket 
you can see here the output shows again the shape dimensions color values blue is 200 green is 62 red is 96 so let's go ahead and click on the picture and now to complete the explanation it will be good to know and understand how a grayscale image would work so let's now add the code to enable that so first let's make some space we'll call a new variable to store the info from our grayscale image so we'll just call it img underscore gray equals we'll use the cv2 function convert cvt color and then provide the variable so we're going to input the image variable and then we'll specify what conversion we want to make so it's cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray so that's the conversion we're trying to make once we do that we have our grayscale image defined so similar to this let's go ahead and display that image here we have to specify that is the gray image that we want to show and then maybe in the header we'll set it output grayscale so then for the printouts for it to be clear let's put here print open parentheses color image details and then before we start printing anything on the grayscale call that grayscale image details and then let's print the shape from the number of dimensions and then let's print cell value again you're not going to get three values for each color you're just going to get the grayscale from 0 to 255 so in this case put cell value comma img underscore gray and still have to specify the vertical and horizontal coordinates parentheses and let's run it or first save it i guess okay put a typo again i guess i copied and pasted that all over all right so here you can see the grayscale image that came after we converted it we have our colored image and now we have here the color image details all the stuff we saw before and now again the ray shape is the same as before except it has no depth so it doesn't specify a one it's just really uh, height and width the number of dimensions is two not three as before and the cell value is 88 and this 88 basically again it was going to go from 0 to 255 with 0 being black and white being 255. now there are a ton of numpy functions that we didn't look at i mean we didn't even import numpy in our python code so we just use what is built in into opencv so we haven't even scratched the surface really in all the stuff you can do with with numpy uh, but now we have a good understanding of the basic and how images are numerically specified in opencv if you want to continue growing your knowledge on opencv make sure to continue staying tuned with my upcoming videos including the upcoming one on color basics and theory of color spaces if you like the video give us a thumbs up and subscribe see you in the next one bye